All right, we have here what's called a hover around MPV5, but this MPV5 hover around has the uh, five inch seat lift. So this one comes with a seat lift. Uh, this chair was only used for about three or four months at the most. It's still in brand new condition, but it does have the seat lift. These are rare. These hover around, you've, you cannot find a hover around with a seat lift, but this is one of them. So it has all other features which we'll cover as we go along, but as you can see, the chair is practically new. If you want the seat to go up on this chair, what you do is you would hit the button where it shows a picture of the seat, and as soon as the lights come on where the seat pictures are at, use your joystick up and down, forward to make the seat go up. Now the seat, when it's all the way down, is about a 22, 23 inches. So if you add your five inches, you're gonna be right now at, let's just see. So right now the top of the seat is gonna be at 29 inches. So this is a six inch seat lift, folks. So let me rephrase that. This is a six inch. So you're gonna start at 23. You're gonna add six inches. Right now you're at 29 inches the top of the seat, which is really, really a nice feature to have and all that. So, um, so the seat is elevated right now. So let's bring the seat back down. That's normal noise. That's just the way that this chair is built. Now we're gonna put the chair back in drive and we're gonna look at the front and the side of it. So this is a hover around chair, so all their foot plates are nice and rounded. So sorry about the noise, it needs a little bit of grease. Uh, <laughs> needs a lot of grease. It's, it's because it's never been used. Oh, awful noise. So this is your foot plate right here. You can see the motor right here for the seat lift. Okay, right there, that black, that's your motor. You have leg, uh, uh, extension here so if you want to have individual legs on this chair you can be added to these posts or we can take these posts out this chair has anchor point you can see right here and right here you can anchor your chair and it probably in the back also you have the same thing in the back so you can anchor it down if you need to transport this chair this chair has two motors there's a motor here there's another motor going to that wheel you can see the knobs right there those will put the motors in neutral if I want to roll this chair all I have to do manually Turn the power off, push the levers down on both sides, and now you can see the wheels are manually. You can just roll it around. So that's if you had an issue with the chair, you forgot to charge it, whatever. When you're done, don't forget, put the levers back up. By the way, these motors are a little bit noisier than most motors in the hover around because these are the HD motors. These motors are very, very powerful. You cannot wear these motors these motor out, okay? These are super heavy duty motors on this power chair. It has already been built in. The seat on this chair is 21 inches wide by 18 deep. 21 wide by 18 deep. So remember with a big, that's a pretty big seat. That means your arms are gonna be at 27 inches. So you need 27 inches to, to clear the cup and clear the joystick to go through a door. So. If this is the chair you want, but the seat's too big, we have other seats that are a little bit smaller than this one, okay? Now this seat right here is a pan seat. What that means is, if you have your own cushion, you can take, you can take this cushion off, it sits on Velcro, and you can put your own cushion on here. If you have an air, gel, or combination, you can use that on here, okay? It does have flip-up arms, okay? And also, the joystick's on the right, the drain cup holder is on the left, but if you're left-handed, we can switch the joystick to the left and put the cup holder over here. The seat is adjustable a little bit, not much. Well, actually quite a bit. So this is where, how far back you can recline this seat if you want to recline it. And forward, that's as far as it'll go forward, okay? So it comes with a headrest. The headrest can be adjusted up and down, in and out for your head. So this chair has the deluxe, which this is called the deluxe pan seat, okay? Um, let's look at the turnaround on this chair. You see how it turns in a circle? So the only thing I've noticed with this power chair is one little scuff right here, but I'm not going to fix that. There's metal back there, so probably when it, hit, when it hit the metal, it scuffed it right there. Other than that, I don't see maybe a little scuff there, not even enough to talk about. You do have a safety belt. 
that comes with your chair. This is your headrest. You can see how it's adjustable up and down. And you can see the anchor points now for back here to secure your chair to your lift. When you charge the batteries on this chair, you just take the charger that comes with the chair. We'll show, use this one for example. Plug it below the joystick and when your light turns green on your charger, usually you're fully charged. So, again, let's recap. This is the Hoveround MPV5, but this one has the six inch seat lift on this chair. So your seat will be roughly at 23 inches when you start. By the time you're all the way up, you'll be at 29 inches. That helps you get to the cabinets, do your dishes, it helps you even exit the chair. If you put the foot plate up, raise the seat, you can get out of the chair with the seat elevated a lot easier also. It does have a cup holder. It has the deluxe seat and you can use your own cushion on here. It has the headrest. It has the adjustment for the legs if you need to put individual legs. It has the anchor bars on it. It has the HD motors in here, which is they're a little bit noisier, but they're when you go outside, you'll notice if you go uphill, this chair will not lose any speed going uphill. It's just the motors are just that powerful. Two batteries in this chair. This chair will go about 15 miles on a battery charge. Again, that all depends if you're uphill in the grass, the weight of the user. And again, if the seat is too big on this chair and this is the chair you want with that seat lift and that joystick, we can put a smaller seat. It may not be the exact, it'll be gray. It may not be with a pan seat, but we have other hover around seat that we can make the seat smaller so you can keep it instead of being at 27, you can be at 24 inches from outside to outside arm. So again, this is a almost brand new MPV-5 with the six inch seat lift. So this is the hub around MPV-5 with the six inch seat lift. Now remember this seat's a little high. I'm six foot tall. You can see my legs are right, are right on there now. So, um, yep, the seat's all the way down. So the seat sits kind of high on this chair. So this is the MPV-5 with the HD motors in it, with the six inch seat lift, the drain cup holder, the large 21 inch seat, practically brand new. Just a nice power chair. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800 677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.